Today, we're discussing the structural stability bug in Seven Days to Die Alpha 20. Now, we've got a lot of info to cover and no time to waste, so let's get to it. Ladies and gentlemen, there is currently a bug in Seven Days to Die Alpha 20 that you definitely need to be made aware of. Now, keep in mind that this is a known issue and the fun pimps are working, hopefully, to get this fixed. But until they release a patch to fix this bug, it is a very serious issue that could definitely cause you folks a lot of frustration and headaches. And this bug has to do with structural stability. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now in order to demonstrate this bug, I'm going to go ahead and use a base design that I have showcased several times in the past. It is a basic pillar style base, or what I like to call the spider base. As you see, I've got multiple pillars going up about five blocks, and these pillars are supported a platform. Then you take the pillars up another five blocks, put another platform, rinse and repeat as high as you want to go. In the past, this base design was extremely structurally sound. The benefit was that even if the zombie jerks did happen to break down one of the pillars, the other pillars were strong enough to support the rest of the build so you wouldn't have to deal with collapses. A really simple design, yet highly effective. And it will act as a great example to showcase this stability bug. Now when building this base design, I often start with the bare bones. I build the pillars directly onto the ground as you see here, and then later on down the line, I may remove the bottom block to add in a land claim block or completely dig out the ground underneath and replace each of those blocks with a more solid foundation, like concrete blocks or steel blocks, which are much more durable. And that is exactly where this little bug comes into play. Now in order to showcase this bug, we're going to go ahead and access the debug menu and we're going to click the option here to show stability and as you can see it kind of highlights the blocks showing off the stability of the structure the green colors show very very strong stability and as the colors change to yellow and then orange and eventually red that means that your structure is getting less and less stable so let's go ahead and dig underneath one of these pillars and see what happens and as you can see the structural stability of this base has been severely compromised that since pillar is deep deep red meaning it is not structurally sound whatsoever so you're thinking no problem let's just go ahead and replace that block and we will restore the structural stability of the build so we plop down a block right here underneath completing that pillar and then we'll take a step back and as you see it did not accurately calculate the strength of this pillar or the surrounding blocks that it is supporting now currently there is no way to fix this except by by utilizing the debug menu. So if we go back into the options and we click on this option here that says recalc stability, that will recalculate the stability of our build, putting things back to the way that they should be. And there you go, just like that, our structure is back to the way it was in the beginning. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing on one of the corner pillars here. So once again, we're gonna dig down, removing the block underneath that pillar. And as you can see here, the pillar is no longer structurally sound. It changes the stability colors like you would expect it to do. And if we go ahead and replace that block, once again, you can see that it does not properly calculate the stability of that pillar or the surrounding blocks. If it had calculated the stability properly, our pillar should be a solid green color like this one here. But unfortunately, it is not. This means that the structural stability is not being calculated properly when you replace the missing block. And unfortunately, this is not not just a visual bug. The stability shown by using that debug menu option is actually accurate. So as you see here, we have our damaged structural stability. So I've already removed that block and replaced it. The structural stability calculates and does not calculate properly. So let's go ahead and build a little bit of a structure off of this damaged area. So we go out seven blocks and when we try to place block number eight, we experience a collapse. Now let's go to the other side side of the column and do the exact same thing. So two blocks in, we're going to go ahead and start building the exact same structure. And you see that we get 13 blocks out. And then if we place down block number 14, we experience a collapse, which means unfortunately, this is not just a visual bug. And the thing that makes this stability bug really kind of annoying and problematic is that the only way to see it is if you are in the debug menu and you have the show stability 
option turned on. Unfortunately, not everybody has access to the debug menu. If you're playing on a multiplayer server and you don't have admin rights, or if you just don't like to use the debug menu, you are not going to be able to spot this problem. Meaning there is no way for you to know if you have run into this bug. And if you have run into this bug, there is no way to currently solve it without turning on the debug menu and recalculating the stability of your build. So you need to be very, very careful when constructing your builds. If you remove a block from your existing structure, it will alter the structural stability of your build, even if you replace that block. So for those of you out there who've been experiencing some really strange collapses while building your bases, this could potentially be the reason why. And now that you know what's going on, hopefully you can take steps to avoid it. And if by chance you do have access to the debug menu, I would highly recommend turning on the show stability option and just double check to make sure your build is calculating the stability correctly. Go ahead and click that recalc stability button just in case. It can potentially save you a lot of headaches and annoyances. But again, like I said, if you do not have access to the debug menu, just know that this bug is currently in the game and you do need to take steps to avoid it. Once again, this bug is a known issue and they are working on fixing this and I will update you just as soon as they get this fixed. But until then, be very, very careful with your builds. And if you don't want to miss out on my update video or any of my other tutorial videos for 7 Days to Die Alpha 20, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you'll be notified when I publish a video or go live here on YouTube. But for now, this is Savin saying thank you ladies and gentlemen and we'll catch you in the next one.